Hello students, this is a continuation of the video lecture on the topic Lagrange's Linear Partial Differential Equations. We are learning problems under method of grouping. Already we have completed problem 1 and 2 and here we have problem 3. This problem 3 is a similar kind of problem as problem 2. So let us solve this. As the first step, let us mark the given problem that is question as equation 1 and now that is Roman letter 1. And now let us compare this with the standard form. So when we compare with the standard form of the Lagrange's type of equation, we get the value of capital P to be equal to cot x. So cot x and the value of capital Q to be equal to cot y. And the value of capital R is equal to cot z. So after finding these values, we have to write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equations are given by. So the auxiliary equations are given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. Now we shall substitute the value of P, Q and R in this auxiliary equation where the values of P, Q, R are here. So therefore we get dx divided by capital P which is cot x is equal to dy divided by capital Q which is cot y is equal to dz divided by capital R which is cot z. So these are the auxiliary equations. Let us mark them as equation 1, 2 and 3. Now we have to compare each of the equations and find the solution. First we shall compare equation 1 and 2. So when we compare equation 1 and 2 what we get is dx by cot x so this is equation 1 is equal to dy by cot y that is this is 2 so we have we are comparing 1 and 2 so we have to integrate on both the sides so we, uh, we see that 1 by cot x can be written as tan x so integral tan x dx is equal to integral 1 by cot y can be written as tan y dy and that is further uh, from this we obtain what is the integral of tan x it is log of secant x and so that is equal to integral tan y will be log of secant y and plus we have to write logarithm of a constant so c1 so log c1 now taking this log of secant y to the left of this equation we get log of secant x minus log of secant y to be equal to logarithm of c1. Now what is log a minus log b? It is log a by b. So here in, at the place of a we have secant x, at the place of b we have secant y and so we get log of secant x divided by secant y. So log of a by b is equal to log c1. Now comparing the left hand side and the right hand side, we see that secant x by secant y is equal to c1. So from this we get c1 to be equal to secant x divided by secant y. So therefore the first solution we have obtained. The first solution u is equal to c1. So therefore u is equal to the first solution is secant x divided by secant y. So this is the first solution u. In a similar way, we have to evaluate the second solution by comparing the other two equations. Previously, we have compared equation 1 and 2. Now, we can choose 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 which is our complete choice. So, let me make a choice of 2 and 3. So, I am going to compare equation 2 and 3. So, while comparing equation 2 and 3, we have dy by cot y to be equal to dz by cot z. So, let us write that. So, dy by cot y is equal to dz by cot z. Now, uh, on we are going to integrate on both the sides. Now, 1 by cot y can be written as tan y and 1 by cot z can be written as tan z. And so, we have integral tan y dy to be equal to integral tan z dz. Same procedure how we did previously. So what is the integration of tan? It is log of secant. So log of secant y is equal to log of 
ta i mean uh, secant z okay because the integral of tan z is log of secant z plus log of another constant c2 now bringing this log of secant z to the left we have log of secant y minus log of secant z is equal to log of c2 so log a minus log b can be written as so from this log of we have log a minus log b is log a by b so log of secant y divided by secant z is equal to we have log of c2 so while comparing the left and right we have secant y divided by secant z to be equal to c2 which is the second solution because we know that the second solution v is equal to c2 which is secant y divided by secant z so we have obtained the second solution v also so we have obtained the first solution u and the second solution and therefore the general solution will be phi of u comma v is equal to 0 and so we have phi of what is u it is secant x divided by secant y comma v is secant y so secant y divided by secant z so phi of u comma v is equal to 0 is the general solution so hope you have understood this problem thank you